Hello, my name is Matrice and welcome to a new episode of Deponia. Let's have some cracking humor and let's kick some postman off his butt because we need to get up there and get somehow get the post guy away so we can uh, call Cletus and he's kind of got a lazy job so so we are going to spice it up a little bit we're going to spice it up a lot all right so we got a mic and I got a plan and I got a pretty pretty good plan because he's got the telephones guy got a lazy job and we are going to spice it up man does the mayor snore all right we need something more for this plan and I know just a place where we can get it. All right. Uh, let's see how are we going to do this because I want to have the parrot. I got the noting bird, so Ooh, we also got a laughing gas. Will that work? I don't know. Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How right. are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Alright, so we get ourselves a bird. That was easier than I thought. All right, let let's. I was thinking more about using some medicine on that guy, and I thought I shouldn't use this one, but I guess we're not going to use that. So that bird can teach him words. Let's see what we can teach him. We can teach him a lot of words. But I know somebody who can teach him every better words. Because I know somebody who is... Come on. This should work. Ooh. Didn't know that. That's kind of interesting. Never used this one. Emergency phone. Alright. Well. Uh... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got the cappuccino. We got wakey, sunburn. Wakey. See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. All right. Now we got a waking parrot. Tony's last therapist used to parrot everything she said. So, I guess we need to go into side of Tony's shop. Because Tony is going to teach my bird a lot of bad words. A lot of bad words. Hello, Tony. I got a gift for you. Hey, You're going to like Tony, it. Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff. And he doesn't even have lice. Wow. So he's the exact opposite of you. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out. Get out! Ugh. Oh. I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! <laughs> maniac! <laughs> Poor I didn't bird. do that. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I can't remember that. Let's get to the center, because now Tony's happy, and yeah, we're going to do some crappy stuff. 
There's a microphone, emergency phone. Where's the moment? There should be some microphone. We're going to take the emergency phone. Inspector Gable speaking. You have an emergency to report? Uh, yes. Tony has thrown out my drum set, and I had just installed a paintball mode. Rufus! Yes? Please don't block the line. The operator is already stressed out. But this is about my rights as an ex-boyfriend. I... Hmm. Uh, oh, man. I hate radio calls. Alright. So, I'm not going to get the emergency phone back. Uh, maybe we should go back in the shop. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... She Wait still... A second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Oh, Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is no good, Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> hmm. Well... We're going what are to you take doing? Him. I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have bad. <laughs> Cheap lies. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, I'm, I'm just going, going to do... We're going to do something with the bird. Oh, man. Oh man, they're all sounding like the bird. That's not a good thing. No, 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 no. All right, let's take the bird. And Inspector Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report. Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus, I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Single's tractor. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't know if this was such a good idea. Could no, I don't think that, that's a good thing. Oh, well, it'll be all right. At least the line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. What else do you know? All right. <laughs> if the operator is busy now, I should go to the operator's plot. Rufus the antenna of Miss Ingle's tractor. <laughs> Rufus breeds grasshoppers in the wheat silo. <laughs> Rufus abused so the where are the... Rufus is a no good Nick. Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Single's tractor. Rufus breeds grasshoppers in the wheat. Where is the headset? Rufus abused the harvester to steal tiles from the town hall roof. Rufus is a no good Nick. Hey, you who? Hello? Hmm? Oh, it's you Rufus again. Make it snappy and busy. Mm. How's work? I have no idea what's going on today. Rufus Someone is keeping one of the lines busy all the time. The I hardly have time to catch my breath. <laughs> Rufus is no good Nick. Well, maybe should. Can I have the headphones now? What? No, I need those for work. So don't get on my nerves. Can I transmit now? Not from this device. Rufus is no good, Nick. Don't you get tired of something? Well, in fact, there's more traffic than usual today. But as long as it's only one line that's permanently busy, I can handle it. Rufus breeds grasshoppers in the wheat. Alright, so that's the problem. Rufus abused the harvester to steal tiles from the town hall roof. I guess. Rufus is no good, Nick. I guess we need to put on the second line. Rufus is still in the end. Man. Can we pick up a kitty? No, we already got the replacement cat, do we? No, we don't. Uh, I should have had a kitty somewhere. Ooh. And one for the road. Alright, now we got a kitty. I got a plan. A second line, because there are two lines in this game, and the second one is in the mayor's office. So, we are going to 
somehow. Where's the communicator? There he is. Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? All right. So, kitties. Well, you want to try? Next, please. No, that's but just not one going to work. For four paws seems awfully inefficient to me. Hmm. Is that the one? <laughs> I bet their message makes more sense than anything low tech ever. All right. The operator will thank me. Now let's get back to the operator because he is going crazy by now. Uh, let's get back to the post office. Back to the upper room. Rufus freeze grasshopper in the wheat side. Hey, yoo-hoo. Hello. Rufus abused the harvester hmm? to stick oh, tiles from you again. the town hall Make it room. snappy, I'm busy. Rufus, is it no good, Nick? Well, don't you get tired Rufus at some point? Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. I'm just getting fed up with this. If one more of those morons down there gets the idea of going in a permanent transmission dial, throw in the towel. Rufus abused the harvester to steal tiles from the town hall roof. Rufus, is it no good, Alright, so... Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. I need to do one more thing, I guess. I'll be going then. So, where is the last radio options? I don't know. I thought I had most of the operating systems working by now. Where's the last one? Mm. All right. This one. Next place. Next place. All right, now we got all lines fixed up. And let's get Please. Let's see if they all get crazy. Rufus, We're so close. No oh, ah, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round. <laughs> Max, Rufus please. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Ingles Factor. Max, please. Rufus, all right. In the wheat silo. Ah, Max, ah, please. Now we are going to the save room. Max, please. To the vault. And we're going to use the headset. Alright, uh, get up first then. Oh man, that's kind of annoying that guy still moving and partying. All that's missing is the microphone. Alright, where's the microphone? Oh, I got the microphone. Ready to go. Let's lift off. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? <laughs> Cletus? Chunk slide hazard in the northern quadrant, caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift! What? Cletus? Cletus! <laughs> Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus! <laughs> Searching for my fiance, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiance. Possibly she is. Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? Yes, I am. Of course I'm on Deponia. And where are you? On the Organon Cruiser? Or Elysium? That's none of your business. Well. I found your fiance. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Tall, long hair. Brain implant fell from a passing organ on cruiser. She asked about you. Believe me, she's your fiance. What's your price? All right. What's my price? Uh... Yeah, I do want to go to Elysium, but I also want to marry a girl. I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible! Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Mm. 
No. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for gold. That's what the wrong I answer. If you're trying to squeeze more money out of me, you better just say so. Well, what do you want? Well, I want to go to Elysium. Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. You think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. What didn't you find, Goal, after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just, w w wait a second. I... Cletus? Over and out. Okay, Upper Ascension Station. Down on the, uh, up on the lower ascension station. I'm totally lost already. So Rufus, if you don't know, I won't know. Easiest pie for a guy like me, Elysium. I'm coming. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And in the next episode, we are going to whatever he said we were going to. And if you're new to this uh, channel and you enjoy the content, please let us subscribe. Push the sub button, it's free, it's totally free, it doesn't cost anything. And uh, if you have any comment on me, just put it down below. I really enjoy reading your comments. And uh, see you all in the next episode of Deponia.